Is it Acura MDX season? We're getting like so many of these and we have appointments as well that are coming after this. All right, same deal here. The client put that, a deposit down for the Acura logo. So you will see him back and he's getting the Type S logo as well. It's not a Type S Acura MDX before you guys say anything, but it's still cool to add it. He was like, he was like why not? Just put it there. So sure thing. Um, but since that logo takes time to make two, three, four weeks um, max, um, we told them we can get started on what we can do right now. And that would be the ambient lights, the LED ambient lights. Uh, you guys already know, you guys have seen it before. Speakers, door handles, strip on all doors, and then two strips on the center. You guys have seen it before, but that's what we're going to be doing on this Acura MDX. And like I said, we'll see him again within a couple weeks to get the Acura logo installed. All right, since this is the YouTube channel, I am going to take you guys along the journey on getting this stuff installed. Um, if you don't want to see all that boring stuff, then you can go ahead and skip to the future and see when it's done. Uh, maybe I'll put a timestamp if I know how to do that, but... We're going to be taking the doors off of a 2022 Acura MDX. But Junior, how do you take the doors off? I gotcha. So you're going to take, uh, this is my tool of choice. I love this tool. It's a pick. Uh, you're going to take this plastic piece off. What you're going to do is you're going to pry it. So let me do that for you. Once you get that plastic trim off the way, you have two uh, Phillips screws. And you also have a hidden one. Let me see if I can show you. See that one right there? All right. And once you get all the screws out of the way, all that's left is to grow a pair. Do not be afraid. I know people, <laughs> they get scared when they're pulling the door because they feel like they're breaking something. It, that's exactly how it feels. You just got to give it a nice tug and it will come off because the rest is just clips. There's no screws. I promise I'm not lying to you. Um, tool of choice. This uh, popper panel tool. Plastic and smooth so it doesn't scratch the paint when you're putting it in between. Um, I already pried it off, but once you get a couple clips off, it's easier to just put your hand in and just tug on it, um, work your way around until the door comes off. And I'm going to show you guys how to take off the clips. I love to have like a little chair there so I can work calmly and the door is not under any stress. So uh, once you get the door out, you're going to have clips to remove or plugs to remove. They all have the same type of clip. All you have to do is just push down. So you see this clip, push and pull and you just left and right till it comes off. Push. Left and right till it comes out. Voila. And then there's one here on the door. Um, this one's integrated into the door um, frame. So that one also has a clip. Let me show you. See there? On the right. Same day, same idea. You push it left and right until it comes off. Voila. You got the door out. Congratulations. You did it. Um, so now you got to do this on all four doors. Let me give you guys a quick warning. So the front door panels are a lot easier to take out. Um, the back door panels, it's, it's the same exact way to take it out, but there is a bulb down here. Um, there is a bulb down here. So meaning you cannot pull um, the door panel out the way you did with the front one because you will break the bulb. Um, there is a plug there. So what you have to do is, um, I can't show it to you because it's so like tight, you know what I'm saying? Um, you do wanna pop out a little more that and there is a plug on this on this bulb do not pull it out more you will break it just simply put your hand in there figure out the i, mean, I can look down there and see what it is but i it's the same idea where you just push down the clip and it comes off see if i can do it for you guys there you go got it see it's this kind of thing it's connected to the door if you pull it out you will break it it's just quick warning on the back doors just the back ones there is a plug down here that you do have to remove before you take out the doors the two front ones are a lot more easier because it doesn't have that plug. And now that we got all the doors out of the way, these ambient lights do not turn on magically. They obviously need power. Um, so usually they come in a kit like this. This is the power in the ground. Um, fun fact about the Acura MDX, the latest generation. In this case, we have a 2022. There is constant power in each one of the doors. So there is your power. All you have to do is just tap into that power. And of course, if there's constant power, there has to be ground. And there it is. They're both right next to each other. Obviously, you want to probe test it before you connect it so you know exactly what you're tapping into. Um, but yeah, uh, you can do it however you want, but that's the way we do it here at PMP Customs. So I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm going to connect and tap into all the doors. Now, for those who want to copy exactly what we're doing here at PMP Customs, this is how we did it. You want to make sure your connection is real tight. The green is um, on, this is on the 
passenger front side of the vehicle. The green is your constant, and of course, black is your ground. Um, now, once you tap into those wires, we don't use the um, the ones that click on to the wire just because over time those get loose and loose and loose. Um, so we prefer not to use those. We use um, straight um, wire to wire connection. Um, we don't cut them, but we just make a hole into them, put the wire in, wrap it around, wrap it around with uh, electrical tape tightly so it never comes off. And then um, you have your plug here. You want to make it look as factory as possible. So we put factory tape around it and then we leave it ready for when the door is ready with the lights. All you have to do is just plug it in. It's that simple. Um, so it's that same exact idea on all four doors. That is how you get ready uh, to install um, having the power ready. Don't mind that loud heater noise in the background, um, but we're still here working on the Acura MDX. Now, yes, we've already ran, I showed you guys that we already ran the power and all that for the each door. Now, how are we gonna do this, uh, the center console slash dash area? Uh, our idea right now, if you're gonna follow exactly what we're gonna do, um, what we're planning to do is we're gonna put the ambient lights down here, something like that. We've done it before, so we're planning on doing it exactly the same again. And then upwards like that so first step on doing the ambient lights this way is that you have to remove this kit uh, you can see that I already started popping it off uh, it's best when you do it with two hands so you don't break anything uh, tool of choice is always gonna be your popper panel plastic priors um, they're very smooth and they barely scratch anything if you're careful you won't scratch anything if you're rough then you best believe you're gonna break something <laughs> um, but yeah you take this off very carefully. I mean, it's hard to do it with one hand, um, but just have everything ready to install. All right, and then a quick demonstration of how it comes out. It's all plugs and clips, so no screws. All clips, so just put in the right amount of pressure and it will come off. Don't do it too hard because you will break it. So we have three plugs in the center area, so there would be these. And then you have one all the way in the corner that would be your push to start button over here. After that, then it's free to come out, um, and now you have enough space to play. Now, all that's left here is just to put the, the strips in and set up the doors. Um, the wiring is already all done. That I will leave for you guys to play with because that's very subjective. Every shop does it their own way. Uh, every shop has their own way of doing it right, you can say. Um, but there is no right way. It's just, you know, what the client wants. Um, so, yeah, we, I think we could just skip ahead now. Everything has been disassembled, and I don't think you guys want to see how everything is put back together. It's the same exact process, but just in reverse. Um, so we can just showcase it, everything being done, all right? And this is what I meant when you can have several colors at a time. So you see how in the strip it's like multicolor. So you have green and yellow on one side, and it keeps changing. That's the benefit of having LED ambient lights. Fire optic cannot do this. Check it out, guys. Check it out. 2022 Acura MDX leaving the shop with ambient lights. Check it out. Check it out. Very nice. It does give the vehicle a lot more life. And, of course, you can turn these off whenever you want. You don't always have to have them on. I have my ambient lights as well. I have fiber optic ambient lighting. Uh, it's just a preference thing. It's not that it's just better. Um, but I always turn off mine in the, in the day. And then at night is when I turn them on. So check it out. We do it best here at PMP Customs. This is a 2022 Acura MDX. This is universal, so it can be done on any vehicle. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this kind of work, interested in making an appointment, just give us a call here at PMP Customs.